What's going on you gamers, today we're going to be going over some more Elden Ring and what I'm going to bring to you is the location and how you can get hold of the Jellyfish Summons. This I think is one of the most underrated summons in the game so if you want to know how to get and why I think it's so good then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. I'll bring you all the latest and greatest content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today, we're here to find the Jellyfish, easily one of the best early game summons you can grab in the game. So the location is the Storm Hill Shack. You're bound to find this on your way, as it pretty much guides you here and then past it as part of the storyline. When you're here, you might as well grab this right here as well, one of the Swordstone Keys. What you're going to do from there is make your way to the little shack and there'll be a person on the floor very much unhappy with how things have gone and just having a whole bunch of sad stories to tell. That she's going to give you a gesture if you talk to her so it's well worth doing. However, what I didn't realise is that if you keep talking to her, she's going to give you more than that. The only reason I found out is because a friend told me that he'd already got the jellyfish summons from her earlier. So you're going to keep talking to her, I believe you have to start at least three conversations and then after a while she say how about you take these little ones with you as well. So nice and easy, just for a little chat, you're now able to summon these jellyfish summons. As long as you've got the required bell as well. If you haven't then I'll chuck a guide up top right on how to get that and if that one doesn't work I believe you can also buy it from the shop vendor at the round table later. But now to the fun part and this is why I think you should be getting this item. It's because single target, this is one of the best summons in the game. I'm not sure how it'll hold up late game, as the HP it's got may be a little bit low compared to the damage being put out by some of the toughest enemies, but for early game, this is just ridiculous and has seen me through some of the toughest battles without me even needing to learn any of the boss mechanics and such. Now what I'm going to do is chuck on a little bit of gameplay footage, Please be aware, there will be a boss and an optional boss in here, so if you don't want to spoil anything for yourself and you haven't got anywhere in Elden Ring, then click off now. But if you want to see why I think they're so good, then that will be up next. So firstly, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay of this right here, and that's kind of the boss of the first area of sorts, and that's going to be Margit. This boss can be an absolute nightmare if you get here early, under geared and under prepared, and you really do have to fight to earn that win. However, I found that with the jellyfish it was just a little bit on the easy side. I pretty much specced into damage, I chucked out the jellyfish, the jellyfish tanked most of their damage and then all I had to do was jump behind them, do whatever I needed to do in my class. Obviously here I'm a spellcaster so it's a bit easier with long range. If I was going to be melee I'd have to bop in every once in a while and do as much damage before dipping back out again. Next up, and I'm going to be showing you this optional boss fight against the Stone Digger Troll. Now, as you can see, this is an absolute beast of a monster, but with this jellyfish, it's just not that tough. And the reason for that is because the jellyfish, again, is just an out and out tank. An early game, it's got enough HP to stand around for quite some time. Obviously, later, I'm not sure it may well struggle to keep up, but early, early, this is ridiculously good as a summons. If I pause it here, you'll see that every single time it shoots out that substance, it's going to mean it's very similar to a tank when it does its shout or its roar or whatever it needs to do in order to provoke the enemy. That enemy is now going to be 100% aggroed upon it. If I did damage to the enemy here, if I do too much because I've kind of become the new threat, it will then turn to face me and go off on me again. If I bring it back to the jellyfish or if the jellyfish hits him with that same effect, once again, the boss or whatever single target enemy there is will turn around and again be focusing its full attention on the jellyfish. This is ridiculously strong and a lot of fun to watch, especially this early game. If you can do quite a bit of damage about yourself, you can take out some of the toughest enemies without much trouble very, very quickly. For all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care. I'll see you on the next day.